This is one of six teaching labs in the new life sciences building and it currently can account for 24 students and one faculty member. This is the aquaria. This is designed for the researchers when they're dealing with um, the aquariums or, or wet environment. So we've epoxy coated the floor and we've installed floor drains to accommodate it if they have a spill. Right here is a typical research lab and each lab has pretty much the same furniture and lab equipment. They all come equipped with a fume hood and these movable benches. And each lab actually does have a pass through, through to the adjacent laboratories. This is the prep rooms attached to the teaching laboratories where the students or the staff will come to prepare whatever research specimens they're working on. Oh, so they have a vent? Yeah, this is one of the fume hoods. So each laboratory has a fume hood. This is a second floor see-through down to the first floor uh, public spaces. So they wanted to create a connection between the first floor and second floor on the interior. And in addition to that, we have furniture set up so that um, the faculty or students can come outside of their labs and sit down, potentially have meetings with students, or just come out here and work on some papers. All of this furniture was designed with flexibility in mind just to and sort of anticipate potential needs by the students. Everything has wheels and then we have a, a lounge area, if you will, for the students.